Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful fall day here in the return to paradise in Garfield, Texas here in the end times on Friday. I think it's October, is it 26 by now? Anyway, somewhere around there, but it is a gorgeous day. And I am thrilled to say that Sancho Panza and I have a date from Pile of Fish with this this unsuspecting woman and her and her little dog. So uh, I got to get through with what I do every Friday morning, and that's just simply going on my email box to uh, bring you this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant. Not sure if this is going to be a one or two parter. We'll figure that out uh, as we go along, but we're going to start like we do every Friday with my with my number one favorite <clears throat> environmental meltdown roundup from my buddies Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at mangabay.com. So we're going to let Rhett take us on a. Uh, trip across a collapsing planet. We're going to start off in the shithole country of Sumatra in the Lucere ecosystem, uh, which I've been talking about for years. The Lucere ecosystem is one of the last uh, gardens of Eden on the planet. It is, uh, I've never been there. I better get there before it's gone. Study warns of dire ecological and social fallout from Sumatran Dam. No shit, Sherlock. A new study warns that the environmental impact of a planned hydroelectric plant in Sumatra's unique Lucere ecosystem will be much greater than initially thought. We have now trained previously thought to initially thought. The area is the last place on earth that is home to wild tigers, rhinos, orangutans, and elephants, all critically endangered species whose habitat will be flooded and fragmented by the dam and its roads and power lines. <clears throat> And environmentalists also warn of the dam exacerbating disaster risks to local communities in a region already prone to flooding, landslides, and earthquakes. Yes, activists are mulling a lawsuit to void the project's permit. Yeah. Oh, but the developer says it has done everything by the book. And my guess, uh, my guess is if the book is written in Sumatra, they have. So I can't hit the bullshit uh, detector button on here. They probably have done everything by the book because everything in the book uh, encourages flooding out the Garden of Eden. Jesus Christ. Okay. Have we ever talked about the Solomon Islands. Gee, <clears throat> Chinese demand is wiping out forests in the Solomon Islands. No shit, Sherlock. <clears throat> Logging companies are harvesting timber from the forests of the Solomon Islands at about 19 times the sustainable rate according to an analysis by the watchdog group Global Witness, and more than 80% of the Solomon's log exports go to China. Global Witness is calling on China to build on its efforts to develop its green supply chain by requiring companies to verify the timber they import comes from sustainable 
and legal sources. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. China's green supply chain. There you go. There, there, there's there's what I, a, a, a glossary term for the end times. China's, anyway. <coughs> Let's see. Here's getting back to the shithole country of Brazil. Here we are again this week with uh, several stories on this new planet eater from hell. This Jair Bolsonaro who will become the new president of Brazil on Sunday. Uh, Sunday will be a dark day in Brazilian history. It'll be every bit as dark as the day we elected uh, Donald Trump, possibly even darker. And what this article is talking about is this <clears throat> uh, how you can expect the murder of environmental activists to skyrocket in Brazil once this fucker gets in there. No shit, Sherlock. He's pretty much just uh, a, you know, declared open season on environmental activists. Apparently three land activists uh, have already been murdered uh, since October 7th. It's so now October 20th. Since October 7th, three Brazilian environmental activists already gunned down, and, and the fucker isn't even officially in yet. Good lord. From the shithole country of Brazil to the shithole country of Madagascar, here we go again. Um, talking about this is just Madagascar's latest, Madagascar's latest plan to sell off its stockpiles of illegally harvested rosewood, uh, and and guess who is 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 going to get the money? It's the these these fucking criminals what they call the local timber barons who cut down the trees illegally are getting paid for the illegally cut down trees. No shit, Sherlock. So instead of going to prison, they are getting paid. Environmental groups argue that operators who logged illegally should not be rewarded for it. <laughs> And, and delegations from several other African countries opposed Madagascar's plan because they feared their own timber barons would learn the wrong lesson from the deal. No, they would learn the right lesson from the deal. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Here's one that we, here's a, a no shit Sherlock prediction from the uh, Brazilian Amazon after this Bolsonaro gets in. This is the grain rail, the grain rail. Uh, the second revolution in Brazilian agribusiness and a threat to the Amazon. <clears throat> so the, the highway Highway BR-163 is being overwhelmed with truck traffic moving soy from the interior state of Mato Grosso to ports on the Tapajos River where the cargo is moved to barges taking it down the Amazon for export to the EU and China. So, guess what? Soy farmers and the transnational commodities companies they supply to say the answer for, to all the truck traffic is a new Amazon railroad. The grain rail would stretch for 580 miles uh, proponents Proponents argue the new rail line would cut freight cost. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Conservationist and indigenous groups strongly oppose the plan, saying that the new railroad 
threatens the Amazon rainforest and the Cerrado, it would likely have harmful impacts on three indigenous groups and would open 14 protected areas to illegal intruders, including loggers and ranchers. No shit, Sherlock. Investors are waiting to see how the election of Jair Bolsonaro uh, might impact the nation, possibly, possibly opening the way for much longed for Amazon industrial waterways. Yep, Amazon industrial waterways and railways and highways and every other kind of way. Uh, anyway guys, I got, there's a lot in here and uh, I got a lot on my plate today. It, I was mentioning this story in the uh, mainstream media yesterday uh, talking about tiger populations and they are now down to a total of six subspecies of tigers. Um, anyway, tigers are fucked. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go to the Shedal country of Indonesia. Indonesia's, Indonesia's anti-graft agency says it is eager to intervene in the palm oil sector. <laughs> warning, warning, bullshit alert. Oh, God. Many palm oil companies are not paying their taxes and corruption in the licensing process for plantations is rife. No shit, Sherlock. And don't worry, Indonesia's anti-graft agency is is uh, is on the case. <clears throat> okay, what's going on with Citizen Ape? It Citizen Ape, the fight for personhood for humans' closest relatives, the Great Ape Personhood Movement aims to extend legal personhood to apes. A distinction that recognizes these non-human animals as beings with the capacity to hold both rights and duties. <coughs> there you go. Uh, proponents hope that granting apes legal rights will also help bridge the gap between humans and, the no and non-human animals. There you go. Uh, all right. As I say, guys, I just have to. Uh, I got to. I got to skip ahead through several of these uh, that I just. It, it, I just don't have time to get into. Oh boy, here's a. We we have two wildlife introduction stories right next to each other. I've already mentioned this one in the mainstream media. More and more of Manga Bay's stories are showing up in the mainstream media, I've noticed recently. And this is the one about the two black rhinos found dead in Chad after move from South Africa. Um, two of the six black rhinos, one male and one female, that were flown from South Africa to Chad this year have died. Uh, there you go. And right next to that, let's hope we have better luck with zebras than they're having with, uh, than they're having with rhinos. Absent for decades, zebras reintroduced to park in southern Tanzania. <coughs> so we have 24 zebras being reintroduced into Kitulo National Parks. 
the reintroduction is part of a broader effort to rewild the Tanzanian southern highlands after decades of wildlife hunting and livestock grazing. Good luck to them. Well, uh, here's more stuff on uh, elephant ivory in China. I think we get it. Uh, here's another story about that planet-eating son of a bitch, Bolsonaro. Amazon and climate science threatened if Bolsonaro, when Bolsonaro elected Brazil's president. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. The election could make a Bolsonaro presidency dangerous not only for Brazil, but for the entire world. No shit, Sherlock. You understand, guys, that this Bolsonaro guy will, will, will actually um, supersede Donald Trump. Uh, Jair Bolsonaro is the single most dangerous human being on planet Earth. Uh, make, make no mistake about it, uh, th th this guy. He is the spawn of Satan. Bolsonaro is the Antichrist to the degree that, that Christ means life and love and, you, you know, uh, Bolsonaro is Thanatos. He makes Donald Trump look like, uh, look, look like Derek Jensen. Anyway, uh, here is about how to make the African wood industry sustainable. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Yes, the sustainable... Did you know that this is Forest Legality Week? Forestry Legality Week. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. Right. We have Indonesia's harshest penalty ever for a wildlife crime. This is these two fuckers trying to sell this uh, tiger pelt that they had. Um, so I guess they went out and killed this tiger and were trying to sell its pelt and got busted. So the, the harshest penalty in the history of Indonesia would be four year prison sentences. Okay. From tigers, tiger trade to cheetah trade, illegal cheetah trade continues through Instagram, YouTube, and for sale. No shit, Sherlock. Between February 2012 and July 2018, a total of 1,367 cheetahs were offered on sale through 906 posts on social media. And there you go. Instagram accounted for 77% of the posts. Yep, yep, yep. More than 62% came from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia being the cheetah uh, movers on the planet. Okay, let's go to the shithole country of Bolivia. We don't talk much about the shithole country of Bolivia. Environmental delegation blocked from entering Bolivian National Park. A delegation from the International Rights of Nature Tribunal was recently refused entry to the Isaboro Secure National Park. The, con the 
commission and planned a discussion with leaders of the, the indigenous society regarding the construction of a highway that will cross through their protected area. Huh. <clears throat> there you go. The, after five hours of being refused entry, the delegation was able to peacefully leave the area, I bet. Uh, all right. This is more stories. Red always likes to include a story every week pretty much now about how iPhone apps are saving the planet. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Uh, let's see. Illegal wildlife trades dirty money targeted by big banks. Hmm. Leading global banks and financial institutions have pledged their commitment to a financial task force to uncover laundering of profits derived from the illegal wildlife trade. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yes, there are also calls for a greater focus on the role corruption plays in facilitating the poaching of fauna and flora. Yes. Uh, D, 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 D. All right. Uh, you know, whenever I see these stories uh, about an environmental organization revealing secrets on these unique, unexplored ecosystems. This is one in Mozambique. Uh, you know, I, I just, I just uh, get a little nervous if they're if they're unique and unexplored. Don't you think by by putting articles out like this? Anyway, so I'm not I'm not going to join Manga Bay. Uh, all right, let's go to the shithole country of Guyana to listen to what does the Guyana Forestry Commission have to say. <clears throat> According to data released by the Guyana Forestry Commission, Guyana's deforestation rate hits a seven year low. That was bullshit. Okay. What is the poster child for entangled marine mammals? Take a wild guess. The poster child for entangled marine mammals would be the vaquita. Oh, here's a here's another story. I don't know the a related story from the shithole uh, country of Bolivia about this highway. Bolivian cocaine coca, which is cocaine. Bolivian coca crops follow a planned highway through indigenous. Preserve Bolivia's Isaburo Secure National Park and indigenous uh, territory host 82 acres of illegal coca crops. Um, well, 82 acres, uh, whenever this was uh, talked about. Uh, as more and more illegal coca farmers taken over, central to the conflict is a planned highway that will cut through the park and has already splintered the indigenous community. D, 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 D. Okay, but one more 
from Manga Bay and then we'll move on. I guess I'll make this two parts. I'm just going to wrap up Manga Bay here with the No Shit Sherlock story. Tropical deforestation now emits more CO2 than the European Union. According to a new analysis, tropical forest loss currently accounts for 8% of the world's annual carbon dioxide emissions. If tropical deforestation were a country, it would be the third biggest emitter globally, ranking just below the U.S. and significantly higher than the EU. Between 2015 and 2017, forest-related emissions were 63% higher than the average for the previous 14 years, rising from 3 billion to almost 5 billion metric tons per year. Researchers say this increase can be traced to three main factors, a growing global middle class, a population boom in sub-Saharan Africa and fires and hurricanes that are becoming more intense and destructive due to climate change. Um, the analysis finds tropical forest uh, in, in, anyway this goes on and on and guys I'm just looking at the time and I have got to wrap up uh, part one of this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant. I will come back later, probably tonight, uh, with uh, part two where we'll go over to the Center for Biological Diversity and, and uh, the Washington Post for more stories on how we're so fucked on this beautiful day. But right now we got to get ready for our, our lunch date from Pile of Fish. Wish me luck, guys. Off I go into the Pile of Fish. Bye, guys.